Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Maneater. And if you're watching it later on YouTube, hopefully you are watching it in glorious 4K resolution. I have moved my interface around just a little bit. I will continue to tweak and twonk. And um, we are a level one shark in a shark PG. I don't think there's anything else for me to grab in here. I'm gonna go get myself a nutrient cache. Because apparently I passed it on the way here and didn't pick it up like I did the first time. Because you know, you always play... Your second run at a game is... Oh, hold on. My preview window is missing, so I can't see that the stream is or isn't running like it's supposed to. So, I hope that answers your question, Ecstasy, and I hope it wasn't too much drama for you. Like... As far as the, um, the blutter situation is. There we go. 200 of everything but green. The bull shark will eat just about anything. I should just be randomly eating all the fish on the way here like I was doing previously. Because it will get me experience points. Oh, catfish is actually currently bigger than me. Wait, hold on. Do I have to hold the, the lock button? Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Is, is it a hole? No, it's, it's click right stick and it doesn't work. Let's see here. I'm gonna get the fishies. Why does it count catfish kills? Well, that is an unfortunate uh, RPG type mechanic, uh, XC, because I have to kill these catfish over here. And the part of the that makes this part of the game more difficult is uh, in a moment we're gonna find out that this catfish area right there has an alligator in it. And, uh, I have enough skill now, I can probably take that alligator as a human player. But I am a level 1 shark, and that is a level 8 alligator. As you can see, it highlighted. This is my first introduction to, um, the bigger fish principle. So I'm gonna try and get past him. And... Wildlife combat. Wildlife can be hostile. Evade to dodge their attacks. When you see the wildlife glow... They are vulnerable. Attack while they are vulnerable to stun them. Press right bumper to evade. If you are the same size or larger than the combative wildlife, when they are vulnerable, you can thrash them to maintain control. Hold right trigger with an object in your mouth and wiggle right stick to thrash. You can focus threat to focus on nearby enemies. Press right trigger while underwater and hostile wildlife and divers will be prioritized. Okay, he's on me. I've got another alligator. So I've basically got to do this while in danger. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this while in danger. And considering every catfish I eat gets me health points back, it's not as huge a deal because if I do get attacked, woohoohoo! Okay, ah! If I do get attacked, then eating a catfish will get me some health back. Or in this case, a lot of health back, apparently. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Whoops, whoops, whoops! If you die, you lose all progress on a mission. But if you were to run away... If you actually were to run away then you could actually keep your progress, come back, and finish what you were doing. The 
super hunting of Vautic's Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Uh, I will agree with you, Ecstasy. It is pretty fun. And uh, also, um, I was playing this the other day on an Xbox One S in the living room of my little sister. And uh, now I am playing it in my own room on my brand new Xbox Series X and... The 4K resolution I'm looking at combined with the ray tracing, the ray tracing is making a huge difference in, in just the way the game is presented, which is really cool. Hey, look, I'm about to level up. What? Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. You're all level five to me. Wait, what? Excuse me. Pardon me. That shouldn't be happening anymore. All right, I'll fix it later. It doesn't help that he's doing like Ryan and signing on and off all the time. No offense, Ryan, but... You know how you are. Level two reach. What do you think? Or musky is a freshwater fish currently found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. Give me them tasty experience chunks. Well, the water is dirty. Uh, we are in Fadwick Bayou. Uh, if we move on to the next area of the game, we will be seeing different things. Let's see here. Alligator observer. Wait, alligator? Hold on. We know those are like level 8 right now. What do we got? Um, crocodile? Uh, Ecstasy, how does the stream look to you? Because I am continually getting, like, warning messages. About like the the bitrate being incorrect. So like, are you? Is it is it looking smooth to you? Is it choppy or something? This is not my normal setup. Trying to stream in 1K while record in 4K. So I'm I'm worried how it looks, how it sounds. Oh, also there's a day night cycle, so the sun is about to go down. It's okay. All right, it's okay then. Apparently a musky is bigger than me. Where was I going? I was going this way. Okay. Also, as you can see, like I said, day-night cycle. So the sun is going down. Forza Horizon 4 on a laptop and my friend said its optimization is very good. Do you agree with him? Forza Horizon 4's optimization is amazing. It plays smoothly on an Xbox One. It plays on any Windows 10 PC that I've used it on so far. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 is an amazing game. Forza Horizon is, for me, 
like what I judge other most other racing games by at this point even the dirt games because as much as I like rally the Forza Horizon series has like at least starting at 2 has some very good like rally racing in it and I like rally racing a lot alligator level 8 let's not mess with alligator level 8 just yet Now, the only caveat to that I will say is, you gotta keep in mind, you are playing on a computer and not a console, so you're not guaranteed a certain level of it's going to work like it's supposed to. Um, oh shit. Uh, hi alligators, what's up? I'm gonna stealth by, excuse me. Hunted muscle. oh shit, oh shit it's on me! Oh man, I'm having problems. I came over here for one thing and that one thing is not is not easy to get. Am I level 3 yet? Oh, I am level 3. Well, okay. Maybe I can use my skills as a player to compensate for my lack of levels. Hunted alligator, nope! That thing's 15. Alright. This alligator won't leave me alone, but I'm trying to get this hunted musclage. Because it is an important. Th what about attack evading at the same time? Uh, yeah, evades on a different button, so. It's it's more about it's more about shit. It's more about hit points. Ecstasy. It's more about hit points. Shark is hurt. At this point, it needs to focus on self care, such as meditation or in home spa treatments. Like you can come back for the thing that you're attacking in a few moments if you feel like it, but you do need to like eat smaller things to get your hit points back. Think of it like instead of running away to, um, regen, like you would do in Halo or something. So, I mean, yes. Uh, attacking and evading is definitely good, but at the beginning of the game, um, basically an alligator like that can at my current level, let's say, three-shot me. And, um, don't be afraid to turn Finn and run. Let's see if I can fight this dude while not, while not dealing with an alligator. Another thing is the constant clicking of the right stick to refocus the camera is just about my only real negative with the game, really. Alright, these are good experience chunks, so we will have all of these. Alright. We've got a decent health rating that's going up. Okay, let's look for the next... We're doing the objectives, right? Because the objectives are payouts. Ooh, I missed a chest. And a landmark? Can I... Oh, I missed two chests. And a question mark? Well, let's hit all the things. Instead of, uh, normally I would say if this was an Assassin's Creed game, which, by the way, Ecstasy, question, would you be at all interested in watching me play an Assassin's Creed game, specifically Valhalla? It is on sale right now. 
it's not that cheap, but it's relatively cheap. And it is supposedly one of the games that best shows off the power of next generation. And I'm kind of looking for a game that would be neat to show off prettiness of. Though I think this is pretty pretty. You don't seem like an Assassin's Creed person, but I figured I would ask. You probably would? Okay. I think there's like a day left in the sale. I'm, I'm still going to debate. I figure if I don't have it by Thanksgiving, it'll be on sale again. And so I will just pick it up then. That's kind of where I am right now. I'm not, I'm not feeling like playing an Assassin's Creed game. And uh, I'm feeling like doing the completion games that the current vote, that's exclamation point vote in the chat for anybody who hasn't done it yet. Um... And because and and you got to do it quick because that new poll is going to be up like this this probably by the end of this week. Okay, so it was over in a different area. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Well, that. That's awesome to me, I see that you enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3, because Assassin's Creed 3 is actually my favorite overall Assassin's Creed game. Not gonna lie. I... I'm not huge into Vikings, and Assassin's Creed is not been really good for a while. I'm somebody who used to be a, a big fan of the series overall. But like, I'm not now. Um, they've, they've, they've squandered a lot of their goodwill. And um... But um, that doesn't mean I don't want to see if they can redeem themselves, you know. See if they can make better games again. I think there's an alligator chasing me. Pardon me and my surround sound headphones, because I was like, whoa, there's something chasing me right now. How do I get over to there? What is green question mark? Oh, wait, is that... One of those signposts? I think that's one of those signposts. Don't know if I was supposed to do that yet, but... Spacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. <laughs> Alright, I can't see my recording like okay. Just trying to keep track of Someone should have taken a gun safety class. Bedwick by nutrients three of seventeen. And, okay, let's check out the log. What do we got here? Growth stage reach team. Okay, so I literally just have to get to level 4, I think. Which I am almost at. And then we can continue with the plot. Which, even if I just eat on the way, I'll probably get to level 4. Ow, fudge! See how much that alligator hurt me for? That was one hit. That was one big tail whip. 
First time when I saw this game, I didn't think it would be an RPG more like a simulation. Oh, well, I mean, that's why they called it Man Eater and not Shark Simulator. Hey, level four! I don't think I'm supposed to understand how to jump over stuff yet, but I do. So I am. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. And then we get viewpoints like this that tell you about like plot things that happen in the area. What is that alligator picture? Yikes! A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodan of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodan was. All right. So, now we go, well, we'll go to this undiscovered location, but we'll go back to the grotto, and we will level ourselves up to level four. Where is that compared to where we are? Whoa, that's a lot of alligators. But the game is not that realistic since you can land on broken wood parts without taking any damage. I mean, let's call it an arcadey shark game. It's arcadey. And and I'm enjoying it for that. Oh, uh, and I haven't been showing it off, but um, little by little, you're actually gaining size every level so i started the game as like 1.1 meters and i'm now 1.4 meters big enough that catfish can not get away from me and i can just hold on to them in my mouth and chew them up which is going to be, you know, a continued presence throughout the rest of the game as I get larger and larger, where things are not going to be able to get away. Alright, let's check out what this question mark is on the way to the grotto. I think I know what it might be. Oh, no, it's a cache. It is not what I thought it was. Oh shit! Anything that's vaguely edible. Eep! How long were you chasing me? We are trying to get back to here. Okay, I lost him. He is currently refining me. Did you, did you try completing dungeons while playing Destiny 2? No, like I said, Ecstasy, I, um, I, I, Destiny uh, 2 was not functionally different from Destiny 1. So, I got as far as doing the opening, uh, the opening interaction of the game. And, um, getting basically to town for the first time. And that was enough for me to be like, nah, nah, I don't care for this still. Like, I hope it, I hope it would be clear at this point that, um, I don't just say I'm not going to try that game. Like, I try lots of games. But... It doesn't mean I'll like them, but I will try them. Like, like how you're selling, saying, like, hey, I should try FIFA, and I'm like, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, it's a soccer game, I'm not gonna play it. I'm like, well, I've never played one before, but... Last time I played a soccer game was soccer on the NES. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. 
I can't actually jump that high yet. Oh, I need to follow this cable. Huzzah! I tried to do it for 40 minutes, then I searched it up on YouTube and learned that a boss fight is impossible. The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. <laughs> Alright, so I have gotten the abilities Breach Lunge, Air Lunge, and Lung Capacity, which brings me almost to the level of my mom um, in this shark universe. And I can upgrade my one... Wait, hold on. Tiger body. I didn't have this before. Like the target shot, often called the garbage can of the ocean, this evolution allows you to digest nearly anything? Wait, what? I need to be eating more turtles. I can't... Wait, hold on. Oh, what? I get to skin the shark? That's... Awesome. Also, I feel bad that it didn't have- Maybe I got that unlocked because I've started another game file? In any event, I should have the upgrade for this. Advanced sonar, plus 100% radius, and cooldown time. So, that's just straight better. Well, now I'm just gonna get more experience points. That's pretty cool. But as far as as far as Destiny goes, XC, like I didn't I didn't hate the game, but I was really disappointed after, you know. I guess I'll say after Halo? Well no, not really after Halo, actually. I guess it would be a lot more accurate to say that I was disappointed. I'm kinda cool looking, actually. That's kinda neat. Um I was kinda disappointed with Destiny after the like years of lead up where they were gonna have like story and social hub locations and um uh, all the different like weapon customization that you could do like all of that stuff was looking really cool and basically none of that cool stuff made it into the game and since that's what I wanted to play, it it never ended up holding interest with me past the beta. Like, for example, um, I have issues I could explain uh, about Metroid Samus Returns. Things that would concern me for upcoming Metroid Dread because I played Samus Returns. But even during the course of the trailers I've watched of Metroid Dread, um... Even during those trailers, I see that a lot of my complaints about Samus Returns seem to have been resolved. So now I have very few fears about just straight up picking up Metroid Dread and not waiting on reviews and playing it. Because some of the things I've seen make me think, hey, that looks that looks like it's going to be pretty freaking solid. Considering I already had a pretty good time playing their other game. Oh my god, that's a level 15 alligator. I didn't realize I was going that way. No, 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 but, um... Have you ever seen the... What do they call it in, in Call of Duty where, like, you rip the gun apart and you put it together piece by piece? Or in, in, uh, Call of Duty... Or not Call of Duty, um... Ghost Recon, uh, Breakpoint? Like, that level of weapon customization, there was more than that in the early stages of Destiny 1, and that stuff never made it into the game. Bulls I don't mean like... Up that finds its way into the water. I don't mean like putting levels and power into it. Uh, Ecstasy, is the, is the game loud enough? I think I've probably asked this before, but like... I'm trying to get it so that the dialogue of the game is... almost as loud as me, but that the, um... The game itself isn't louder than me, like the sound effects and stuff like that. Does it does it sound like I got it okay or It's good. Okay, it's good. Always worrying about that mix.
Level 8 alligator. I am level 4, so that is not as scary, but it is somewhat scary. But I want lots and lots of turtles now. Okay, turtle. Because turtles are going to let me level up the tiger shark thing. I think I need 8,000. So we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to make a point of eating a lot of baby turtles. says, by the way, I heard that Forza Horizon 4 is 88 gigabytes. Do you think Sony branded laptop has that disk memory? Uh, I wouldn't know, but you know, just check the my computer. Right click on the drive and get properties. Or if it's not yours, uh, double check with your friend. Required adult? I'm zone ca what the hell? Wait, there's a thing on me. Okay. Required adult? Huh. Apparently I'm gonna get older than I think. Oh hey, a location sign. What are we locating? I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Wait, you're gonna you're gonna VPN into his computer to play Forza Horizon? But doesn't that not work great for action games? Well, actually, I haven't really used XCloud. Oh. Here's a fun one for you that I that I heard recently, XC, that kind of surprises me a little bit. It um it looks like Microsoft's going to try and bring XCloud to the Xbox One, which you might think, well that's just weird, right? Why would you do that? Because it's a this console. Supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Because it's a console, so it should just get to play the games because Game Pass, right? But the thing is, they're gonna make it so that you can stream to the Xbox One playing a game in the quality of the Series X. And that's crazy. If that's true, that's crazy. Apparently I can open that one. Let me look and make sure there's no... Why would you bring an Xbox branded cloud service to the Xbox console? Well, I just told you. Or, uh, actually, you might be you might be on Twitch delay for me answering that question. But, basically, it's so that you can play Xbox Series S, Series X quality gaming streamed to an older Xbox so that you can experience that game. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Oh, is that how you're supposed to get in here? I literally swam up to a giant wall and jumped over it when I played this, uh, uh, like, earlier this week. Alright, we are just about caught up with myself as far as, like, knowing what's coming up next. Uh, I, I have very little between here and there.
don't think it would make a big difference with consoles. Ecstasy, I literally played this game originally on a, on an Xbox One S a few days ago, and I'm now playing it on a Series X, and I can confirm that besides merely the 4K in visuals, um, ooh, an albino catfish! Those have green nutrients. Um, that besides just the 4K resolution, the lighting system in this game is much more gorgeous. Because I downloaded the Series X uh, enhancement uh, for for the game. So it's playing in a higher resolution, it's playing in 60 FPS, it's playing with ray tracing of all freaking things. And, um... Basically, on computer it would be installing a new motherboard with a new processor and new video card. Like, it's a legit upgrade. Like, console gaming is basically PC gaming at this point. And, uh, so the similarities are pretty much that. Getting a new console, like, you know, otherwise I don't have a real reason to have a Series X right now because there's not, like, an absolutely awesome Series X game for me to play. Not like PlayStation where, like, there's at least Ratchet and & Clank and nothing else to play to have yourself a next-generation experience. Maybe Dark Souls Remake. Oh, hey, this is the wall I went over before. So that's where the game teaches you to go over walls, and since I knew that earlier, I was able to pick up a lot more doodads in the starting zone than I originally was. And as you're about to see... Oh, hello. Sign. I don't think I saw that before. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Oh. I can pick up this license plate. Does it get me nutrients? It does. Okay, I can't open that grate. I see the power cable. The power cables lead you to grottos, which is an interesting way of doing it, so that you can visually see the location from further away. So here we go, second grotto. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Third cave feminism. We can now view a new quest, but let's go for the level up. Okay, so this requires, I believe, 8,000. So I am more than halfway there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I can't quite upgrade the sonar. I'm a little bit ahead of where I was earlier. License plate named Redneck gives you nutritions. It's a video game, XC. It gives you experience points, which are called nutritions for whatever reason. But in any event, to anybody who is watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This whole thing has been Man Eater, presented by Improvision Entertainment. Hopefully in 4K, not me. My cam, my camera is lower resolution than what you're looking at if you're looking at it in 4K. But the game has been in 4K. I have been Hunter Munn, and I will see you in the future.